Hi guys and welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Jen and I am preparing for another weekend getaway in Cape May. If you are new to my channel, this is something that I have been doing annually for a while now and I have been sharing it with you guys every time so I thought it would be fun to share it with you again for this upcoming weekend. So I've just started packing. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you everything that I'm packing for our trip to Cape May. I just laid out everything that I plan on wearing. It's supposed to be a really nice weekend. Um, typically what we do is we have a couple of days at the beach, weather pending. Hopefully the weather will be nice enough that we can actually go to the beach. And then we tour the Cape May wineries and we do some shopping and we usually go out to dinner every night. We tend to go during restaurant week. So it's a fixed menu, very inexpensive. So we usually go out at least two or three times and this is what I have chosen to wear. So first I just have two plain white t-shirts. This is a short sleeve t-shirt and then this is a long sleeve one. And then I have a casual pair of shorts and a pair of jeans just in case it does end up being cold. Um, just like my undergarments and a denim jacket. I have an extra towel back there that we're going to be bringing for the beach. And then I have another one in my backpack, which I'll show you in a minute. And then I have this like button down t-shirt dress that I'm going to wear out to dinner probably one night. Also these white denim jeans with this um, navy and white polka dot top. If you guys saw my Stitch Fix unboxing, I received both of these outfits from Stitch Fix and I actually received this from ThreadUp. It's by Gap and it was new with tags. So <laughs> I did good with my shopping this past year. And this is a little romper and bathing suit that I got from Target this year. So I just figured on our beach day, I would just wear this bathing suit underneath the romper. I received this really pretty Vera Bradley beach chair for my birthday. So I'm excited to try this out. And then for shoes, I just have my teal Havana flip flops. And then I'm bringing these platform shoes to go with the dressier outfits. And then back here are the travel bags that I'm using. So this is my makeup bag. I'm not even going to take anything out of it. I'm just gonna bring all of my makeup stuff. And then I'm using this little matching lunch tote. It's a cooler, it's insulated, but I'm using it for my toiletries. There's minimal in there. It's like a bar of soup, a sample of shampoo and conditioner, a razor, and I think that's pretty much it. So I'm also going to be able to repurpose this insulated tote for drinks at the beach if I wanted to do so. This bag is my reminder to bring my laptop. It's empty now, but if I don't lay it out, I'm going to forget it. And then this is the bag that I'm going to fit everything in, hopefully. And I'm bringing very minimal jewelry, but this is the jewelry that I'm bringing. I have my little Mickey Mouse bracelet and then these uh, nautical bracelets that my mom got me for my birthday last year, a simple pearl necklace, um, a hair clip just in case I wanna pull my hair back, and just a basic silver bracelet. I don't like to travel with anything that I'm like worried about losing, so I'm keeping it minimal, but I wanted to just have some stuff in case I feel like dressing up a little bit. And over here, I have all of my beach gear. So I'm using my backpack that I brought on my um, most recent Disney trip. I took all of the Disney pins off of it since this is not a Disney trip. <laughs> and I have this towel in here. And then these are the other items that I'm going to be putting in there. So I just have this bag with all of my sunscreens, baby powder. I have a couple of those like beach chair towel clippy things. And I'm bringing my Nike hat. I have this Brita Better Tap Water Anywhere water bottle, which is great if you wanted to drink like sink water, it has a filter in it. So that always comes in handy. I just like to keep it in my luggage in the event that I need to use it. This is the book that I have been reading and it is so good and such a great book to bring to Cape May because it is about a very old building and it's very historical and it's like a ghost love story. So I just feel like it's very appropriate for the location that I'm traveling to this weekend. And then I just have this little bag to keep it in so that it doesn't get ruined at the beach. So that is everything that I'm packing. I'm excited. We're actually going with friends this time. So I don't know if I'll be able to vlog as much as I normally do, but I'm going to try. They are my friends that like found out about my channel. <laughs> so I don't know if they're going to be comfortable being in my vlogs, but at least they know about them. So it won't be like weird if they see me doing it. 
and I think it's going to be a really fun weekend and I am ready to go. So I will see you guys in Cape May. just finished dinner and it's pretty late it's about 11 o'clock at night we're going to go sit on the porch and have a drink and just relax but we had a really nice dinner and unfortunately we got here a lot later than we had anticipated but that's okay tomorrow looks like it's going to be a really nice day and I'm hoping for some beach time and then we're going to go and tour the winery so so far so good I was really surprised when we got here. Um, my friends that were meeting us here left me this really cute gift. I don't know if you can see my little Mickey Mouse bag over there, but it was just filled with like treats and snacks and drinks. And it was just really, really a sweet and kind thing. And I was so excited to receive it. And yeah, so they all just went down to the front porch and I'm gonna go meet them over there. I will see you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning, guys. I know I look really tired. <laughs> it's because I am. Um, we went to bed last night, not too late. It was probably about midnight, but I woke up this morning with the worst cramps and I just could not sleep. So I got up um, maybe around 6.30 and just took a shower and we just went downstairs. They have like a little bagel breakfast shop downstairs. So we just went down there and I got a corn muffin and coffee and came back up to the room quick because I'm going to take some Advil and hope that <laughs> that helps. And then we're gonna take a walk on the beach with our coffee. So that is the plan. We had a great night last night. I think I neglected to uh, say where we're staying. It's the Hotel Macomber. I've stayed here in the past and it's nice. It's a hotel, so it's a little bit different than staying at a bed and breakfast, which is what we usually do. But I really like it anyway. It's a really old hotel and it's right across the street from the ocean and the boardwalk, which is really nice. They have some kind of like a vendor fair going on too on the boardwalk, which I wanna check out because we did that last year as well and it was a lot of fun. Yeah, so that's what we're up to. I am going to take some Advil and go for a walk and I just hope that that really helps a lot because today we are going to be going to the wineries. It doesn't look like it's gonna be a nice beach day. It's only like gonna be in the 60s today and really cloudy, which is unfortunate, but there's always other fun things to do here in Cape May and I'm looking forward to getting our day started. I don't have much to show you guys of the room, but I really do love this mermaid sign. There's like a mermaid theme going on here, just like last year, which I guess is typical of a seashore town. There are two beds and it's a relatively large room, which is nice. The ocean is right across the way here. So this is like, we have a lovely view of the parking lot. That's always wonderful. <laughs> but um, if you look over in this direction, the ocean's right across the street. And small bathroom. It's kind of a mess because we've already settled in last night. <laughs> but that is our room. It's not as beautiful as the bed and breakfast rooms that we've kind of become accustomed to over the years, but it's comfortable. And I think if I ever came here with the family, this would be probably the place to go rather than like a quiet bed and breakfast. I think this would be more fitting if we ever decided to bring the kids. So 
so we just went for a nice walk on the beach. It was really cold and windy, but it was like not too cold that you couldn't be out there. So I just appreciated the fresh air and being at the ocean. It made me feel a lot better. So I'm feeling pretty good now. Um, we're going to meet up with our friends and do some shopping. I think we're going to go over to like this vendor fair that they have going on on the boardwalk. And then we're going to head over to the Washington Square Mall and then possibly the winery. So we have a full day. It's restaurant week, as I said before, and we have dinner reservations tonight as well. Last night we ate at the Union Park restaurant, which is right um, downstairs here at our hotel. So that worked out good. And that is what we are up to today. So I'm going to go meet up with everyone and we're gonna just walk around and do some shopping and enjoy the day. Luckily, at least it's not raining. <laughs> so that I appreciate. You can probably hear there's a lot of like construction going on outside too. So sorry for that, but I will check up with you guys later. So we just got back from the wineries and I can see my hair is like very, very windblown <laughs> from being outside all day. But we had a great day, we did some shopping and now we are headed out to dinner. So it's been a lot of fun. I haven't really been like sharing a lot just because we're hanging out with friends and just trying to focus on like what we're doing and in the moment. And I will see you guys later. Good morning guys. We are packing up and getting ready to go. We had a really good night. We had a fun day yesterday. It ended up being a beautiful sunny day, but unfortunately it just wasn't like quite warm enough to go to the beach. So we just walked around and did some shopping and it was a nice night. I got to bed a little bit earlier last night. I was kind of feeding. It was a pretty full day and we had dinner at the Blue Pig Tavern at Congress Hall, which was a lot of fun. And then we went um, down to the boiler room, which is like a little bar that they have in the basement of Congress Hall. It's pretty cool. And now we are going to head downstairs and get some coffee and a pastry or something and take another walk on the beach. And it's our last day, sadly. This weekend always goes so quick. I wish I could extend it another night, but um, we have to get back home later on this afternoon. So that's going to be it. I didn't really buy that much yesterday, so I'll try to show you guys like at the end of the video because I think I'm gonna do some souvenir shopping today and I always like to bring stuff home for the kids. So I'll try to show that to you guys later, either before we leave or when I get home. And that is pretty much our day. I think we're just gonna shop today, do kind of the same thing that we did yesterday. And that is it. I will catch up with you guys later.
are back from our Cape May trip. We had a really great last day. Just a little recap for you guys. We got up kind of early, slept in a little bit this morning, but not too, too bad. And we met our friends for breakfast and said goodbye to them because they actually had to leave in the morning, but we still had the full day ahead of us. So it was fun, including another couple on our trip this year. We really had a great time. I never included them in my vlog because it just never seemed appropriate. It just always felt awkward. So I left it alone, but we had a really great time. And today we did a little bit of shopping. I'm just going to take a minute to show you everything that we bought while we were in Cape May this weekend. I just think it's a fun thing to share. So let me turn the camera around and show you everything that I found this year. So I know you guys saw that my friends put together this little gift bag for me and it's filled with like chocolates and candies and chips and coconut water and drinks and all kinds of fun stuff but I just also wanted to show you this uh travel cup that they got me it says bottoms up with the little mermaid tail or fish tail I think it's a mermaid tail I just thought that was really cute and I did use it over the weekend so that was really really a nice and fun thing to welcome me to the room that we were staying in I thought that was a lot of fun so here is what I got for the kids for Patrick we got him just this Cape May t-shirt and then three different varieties of the jerky the hot beef jerky the teriyaki and the sweet and spicy we got him that last year too and I think he liked it and then for Emily we have this yellow t-shirt that just says keep the ocean blue with this little Cape May sticker and then on the front it says Cape May a little turtle I thought that was really cute and Madison requested squishies so <laughs> she got this one that's the seashell which I thought was relevant and I also thought this was kind of relevant a little cute hot dog and that is what we're bringing back for the kids and then I got this hat for my husband from It's a Breeze we really needed a baseball cap on the trip and we spent quite a lot of time trying to find the perfect one. This was the winner. <laughs> and then last year I got coffee from this store called Love the Cook. And I think I got like a breakfast blend last year. So this year I'm trying out the Kate May house blend. So that'll be nice to have some fresh coffee in the house. And this was exciting. I went to the Cape Atlantic Book Company. They had a bookstore there. And I wanted to buy something relevant to Cape May. What I ended up finding was this book, Cape May Through Time by Dr. Joseph Salvatore and Joan Berkeley. Whoops. And what I love about this book is it's like a then and now book. So it has all of the old buildings of Cape May and it shows pictures of what it once was. And sometimes it's a building that no longer exists because of the big fire. And then it will show like the newer building or it'll have a building on the top that did exist back then and what it looks like now. So it was just fun going through all of the old pictures. Like here's the boardwalk back then and here's the boardwalk now. Um, you can see like a street view of one of the hotels then and now. And you can see like this one is very much the same. So I really enjoyed looking through all of these photos and just seeing like the then and now pictures. And it's helping me decide where I want to stay next time. This is actually a restaurant that we really like to go to called Peter Shields. And look at how almost exact it is from the then and the now. So it's helping me decide where I want to stay next year because I want to pick one of the older buildings that have been there a really long time and have stayed well preserved. So that was a fun book to get. And then I also purchased Jane Austen, Lady Susan. It's just a really small novelette and I wanted to um, get another Jane Austen book. So I thought that would be fun to add to my collection. So that's everything that I got on our trip this year. Oh, there's one more thing, hold up. And then the last items that I purchased were these photographs. So they're not photographs, they're actually like paintings. There's this woman, her name is Patricia Rainey, and she sets up a stand. She's an older woman and I see her there every year. And she paints all of these beautiful pictures of all the Victorian homes in Cape May. And every year that I go, I try to get like wherever we're staying. So this year we stayed at the Hotel Macomber. You can see the sign there and she did this beautiful painting of it. So I purchased that. And then I started purchasing some that I never um, 
got in the past from places that we previously stayed. So this is Rhythm of the Sea. There was another time when we stayed there. And then a couple of years ago, we stayed at the Dormer House. So I purchased her painting of the Dormer House. And I'm going to make a collage of these going down our third floor hallway. So I want to collect all of the places that we've stayed. I think there's um, maybe one more that I don't have yet. And then there'll be another one next year, depending on where we stay. But this is the one that I purchased last year, Angel of the Sea. That was a really, really beautiful old hotel. And this was when we went back in 2016. And we started doing this for my birthday. And they gave me this little happy birthday, Jennifer. This was the Queen Victoria Inn. My birthday is in June, but we went at the end of May to celebrate. So I thought I would frame this and see how it looks with my little collection. And if I don't like the way it looks, I always could um, purchase the one that she painted. But I just thought that was really nice that they left this for me on our trip. And that is everything that I purchased on this most recent trip to Cape May. And we hit one more winery on the way home because there is one that's kind of further out and it is a good like 15, 20 minutes into our drive home. So we always hit that one on the way back and that was it. It ended up raining a little bit later in the day. So it was a good time to wrap things up and leave, but most of the day was sunny and warm and we really enjoyed our weekend getaway in Cape May. I hope you enjoyed it once again. I'll leave um, a link below to the other trips that we've taken in the past. It's something that we've been doing every year, I think since 2016. So it's been really fun and I look forward to it. And I hope that you guys enjoyed watching and coming along. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that bell notification over there so that you can be notified every time I share a new video and I would love to have you subscribe. I hope that you are all having a great week and I will see you real soon. Take care. Bye.